So uh, my name is uh, Robert Vossen. I'm from the Netherlands. I live in a small town, and um, I'm known because of my Chicago blues. What I play, it's the style I like, but I do more than uh, only Chicago blues. And, uh, but that's mainly what I do. So they told me he was talking. To some of his friends at Hotel Array. You know, he was talking to some of his friends at Hotel Array. People, that was how it's taken over. When the devil got into that evil man While Dr. King was talking You know he didn't feel the pain The first time that I heard blues music was uh, I remember, yeah, I was a uh, Mostly listening to 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 Elvis, Johnny Cash, John Denver, and then I heard um, a cassette with, uh, and I heard the piano part, which I liked. And uh, afterwards, I found out that it was Muddy Waters with Otis Penn on piano. So that's how it started. And when I was 16 years old, was it uh, Vara Television, Dutch Television, it was a documentary uh, called Smart, and it was it was about the blues. Uh, in America, uh, they were following Honey Boy Edwards through Chicago and Mississippi, and in uh, the Netherlands, uh, the zangeres zonder naam, and she sings the Smart Lab, and that's what we, yeah, in Dutch, uh, for blues. So the documentary uh, was about following Honey Boy Edwards, uh, following uh, the zangeres zonder naam, and one of the parts that. Uh, really impressed me was the part at the Delta Fish Market in Chicago where Tail Dragger together with Eddie Taylor sang My Head is Bold. And uh, yeah, that was what, and yeah, one of the main moments that I thought, hey, this is the music I want to make. And, and when I in 91, I saw Magic Slim and the Teardrops. And then I was, yeah, I want to play Chicago blues. And that's how it started. I met Dave uh, a few years ago, I think when he was only 12 or 13 years old, at the music school with a group of children uh, playing music and, and in fact playing blues. And now we play together as a duo and we're in a band, and a Muddy Waters tribute band. So this is Dave. I could really understand. No less what he said You got no going to that promised land 